Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hear about consecutive impact CME concerns from the mainstream, another failed dark matter search, and the electric galaxy theories have now broken into the mainstream. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a calm last day on our star. The filament stayed seated, no CMEs to speak of, and we also didn't have any solar flaring. The active region is now well stabilized and unlikely to flare without significant morphing first. The magnetism is even more separated than it was yesterday, light cores clustered in avoidance of one another. Even without solar flares and CMEs, we've got coronal holes departing and next one incoming top left. The first portion of the departing stream indeed impacted Earth overnight and drove up the plasma speed, but without a major density shock or super hot stream particles, there is not much, if any, geomagnetic instability at this time. Speaking of space weather, we have a terrific article describing how we don't need a kill shot solar flare to be in trouble. The coupling of CMEs with each other and the magnification of a consecutive blast scenario make for a danger presented by a single event 10 to 100 times larger. In terms of this type of global power grid killer, we are about 50 times more likely to see a consecutive impact scenario than it be from a major solar flare. Interesting news out of Princeton and Oxford. Usually that means pay attention, by the way. In case you forgot, when scientists go looking for something and end up putting constraints on the possibilities, it means they didn't find it where they were looking and have crossed a possibility off the list. Gamma signatures debunked conclusively this year, and the first Tier 1 X-ray look came up zilch as well. Folks, and now the top story. It's just one university saying it, but we have to start somewhere. The cosmic jets, better known as jets of active galactic nuclei, have been studied in great detail, not just composition and size across vast cosmic distances, but the ion content, ion flow, and toroidal magnetic fields that structure the jet. There's no other way to say it. They claim there is an electric current in the center. There is an ion population flowing there, bound by a helical magnetic field, another ion population, and another helical field circling around the hole. Since we know that the secondarily produced fields and currents expand and expand, one wonders if the larger scale forces not shown here, the ones associated, could solve the galactic rotation problem. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and would love you to get involved in one of the ways shown up after the wind maps. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 525 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.